Morning guys. Um, just an update really what we're doing at the shop and what's going on at the shop. Um, people are asking. Um, it's bad news and some good news. So hopefully it weighs itself out. Nothing major. Um, the bad news unfortunately is we've sold out of fish. So I've got nothing else. I've got the toes eyed which is still waiting to go out on the on some of the pre-seasons that are um, waiting just to catch up as soon as APC are running at um, full belt again. So all the toes I went, um, all the big stuff went. I mean, even these ones in the back here, they're all waiting. A lot of these are waiting for um, export. So, and at the moment, I'm not gonna be able to send out like we normally do. So these are all staying in here nice and healthy, doing well. So there is, there is about six of them going next week. Um, which brings me on to the good news because next week when I deliver these two fish down in London, well three fish, um, I am also picking up a new shipment from Japan which we've been working hard on this last two weeks um, to try and get sorted. Um, but thankfully um, for me, um, the breeders in Japan have been absolutely fantastic. Um, I mean, we're one of the few direct ship our fish in um, without using agents or anything like that. So it's just me, um, but a big massive thanks um, to my shipper um, who's worked a few wonders for me. Um, now I've got Tozai coming in, which are the same Tozai as the previous ones from the same breeders. So I know exactly which fish I'm getting because I've seen them in person. Um, now I'll put some a few clips on here of some of the other fish that I'm getting which are Shintro Jumbo Tozai, right? So these are koi um, that are not quite a year old yet um, but they're 30, 30 cm's plus. Right, now I've got some really, really nice fish coming in. Um, I'll put the videos up on here. Um, now again, some of them, you know, I only received the videos yesterday morning. Some of them are already sold. Um, so you're gonna have to be quick if you want these if you want these fish you, you're gonna have to be quick with them um, So let me know if there's anything that you like on there. Just give me a call um, Or give me an email and we can get something sorted. So these fish are arriving next week into the UK um, Then they're gonna come back for quarantine obviously, so I'm hoping that you know by mid-June They're gonna be ready to go. I'll do regular updates of course um, but yeah, so I'd just really like to thank the Japanese breeders for sorted us out on this it's um to be honest it's not as many fish as what i would have liked to have brought back um but at the moment with the space being so valuable on the aircraft there's not there's not as many planes flying back and forth to japan now so space is absolutely viable and the shipping the shipping rate has gone up slightly but the breeders have been excellent um, and we've kind of balanced it all out on the price of the fish so we're going to be bringing them in pretty much exactly the same as what we brought them in last time so we're still going to be able to sell them for the same price as we did last time so the toes eye deals will be back on again but I've probably only got half of the toes eye again than that I had last time so it will be pre-orders um, and stuff like that but I'll do the videos again it's not a problem but even even we don't know in the current situation what's going to happen um, so maybe by the time the fish are out of quarantine and fingers crossed I really hope so that then people can come in and buy them you know like you would do normally so um, we'll see how the pre-seasons go uh, the pre-sales go and then we can we can figure that out so um, so apart from that right what have we got on um, we've got some more fantastic ponds coming up I've started to do a few more now um, the big pond in Warrington, the 10,000 gallon one, that's been all fitted and plumbed in this weekend. Um, so that's virtually finished, waiting on glass. Um, we start our um, second build of the year, which is one that we're doing all ourselves. Um, a start to finish pond, um, which is about 10,000 gallons. So that's going to start. We're going to get um, spade in the ground, hopefully, next week. Um, so that's going to be quite good I'm hoping to pour concrete in not this weekend coming the weekend after so we'll we'll um, we'll keep an eye on that check that out that's pretty local that so we can um, just go down and nip and, and do the um, and do the things now what I'll do now is I'm just gonna I'm just gonna spin it round and I'm gonna go into the um, into the new pond um, because we've been 
fiddling and playing and I think we're on the right track now but I'm gonna go I'm gonna I'm gonna explain it all to you I'm not gonna hide anything from you so let's have a look at it So these behind me are the rest of the tolls I waiting to go out. The last of the pre-sales. So let me give you a bit of an update on the new pond. I'll talk you through what's gone on the last, probably about the last week, 10 days. Right, so the nitrite and ammonia were, were up, were up quite a lot, right? And we were running the bead at 75% if you remember. So what we did is we dropped the bead to 60%, right? And then within two days, the nitrite and ammonia came shooting back down again. Now all at zero, right? So no problem. But then um, because it's so hot in here, the water temperature went up to like 22 degrees, 23 degrees, just naturally, because we had that, that really um, hot weather and it's getting hot again now, right? And then we started getting blanket weed in the pond. Not long, not long and strandy, but I mean, everybody's suffering from the moment. Not long and strandy, but you could just see it and it looked fluorescent on the side of the ponds, right? And then the pond just went green and it, it, it sort of like went green and bitty because of all the blanket weed that was going in there, right? So I spoke to a friend of mine who runs beads, who just runs the beads um, over in Ireland um, clearly aquatics mark um, and he runs a lot of the bead filters and I always discuss this through him before when, when we were building it so he's always someone good to bounce off so what he told me is that he's running he's got 24 inch beads running at 20,000 litres an hour right so he's running at 100% on 24 inch beads now I've got a 30 inch bead right so what he, what he suggested and what I followed was to go up in five percent stages right so i mean i was thinking it was the uv i'm thinking you know what's the what's why is it doing this now but because the algae bloom went in there so fast right that the uv no matter what it couldn't keep up with the temperatures are going up and it couldn't keep up with all the um all the bits in the pond it was just breaking off all the time right so what we've done and i was worried about putting it up and then the water um the ammonia and nitrite going back up you see, because that's what happened last time. But, right, so what I've done now is that over the last week or so, I've got it up to 85% now. Um, the bead's running at 85%. The water is fantastic. The, um, the ammonia and nitrite is absolutely superb. Um, just one second. Paul, just grab me a bit of food, will you? I'm going to put these in here. So, yeah, so the ammonia and nitrite is excellent. Now, because a lot of people at the moment, right, they're ringing up saying, oh, my filter's blocking. And it's a range of filters. They say, oh, it's blocking, it's blocking. And that's because there's weed growing because of this algae bloom we're having and it's getting really hot during the day and then it's going a bit cold at night, so it's dying, right? So um, the filters are going to need cleaning out a little bit more than what you would do normally, right? So I didn't clean this bead out probably for 10 days, 
right? So I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, I'm looking at it, and I'm, we're taking it up to 85%, and the, and, the, and the filter's handling it great because the ammonia and nitrite are still at zero, right? Which is the most important thing. But my clarity was just off, and it was annoying. And, uh, you know, just in the end, I, that, I was that busy doing other things that I just thought, oh, forget it, I can't be bothered with it. So, but now, what we did is we've cleaned the bead. Um, we cleaned it on Sunday, no, Saturday um, of last week, and I cleaned it yesterday, and we've seen a massive improvement now. Um, I think I'm going to clean it again tomorrow, and I think by Saturday it's going to be absolutely crystal clear. Like, I mean, two days ago I couldn't see the bottom drain. Uh, now I can. Now I can see the bottom drain. It's absolutely, you know, there's no problem now. I can see it all the way down to the bottom. Um, but believe me, two days ago it was just, it was weird. So, and there's, you know, there's a good stocking rate in, and we're feeding a lot of food. Um, so, and I think now the flow rate is vitally important um, for this filtration that we're putting on this system. Now I am going to carry on going up and I'm going to eventually say by the weekend have it 100% running. Um, so that's what the plan is and that's what we're going to see. But it has obviously made a massive difference in cleaning it and with the flow rate going up, the clarity is coming right back now, which I'm really happy about. So like I said, the fish are absolutely, uh, they've never been... They've never been, um, they've never been worried in the slightest. But don't forget, there's nothing in there. There's no, I've not put a blanket weed treatment in. I've not put salt in there or anything like that. This is just how it is. So, and it should work out exactly right for, I mean, I, I would, depending on sales, you know, I say this to kiss a death, but I would like to put some of the jumbo toes in here that we're getting and, and grow them on a little bit. Um, because these fish in here are obviously all sold so they need to go um, but yeah so it really is it's coming on now so I'm really happy with it so it's just a question of getting it absolutely spotless but like I said you can see the bottom drain there coming up now so but two days ago you could probably see about a foot into the top it was it was incredible really so the difference that the difference of of giving it a good two really good cleans and up in the flow rate has made a massive difference and that's why flow rates are so vital they really are people just don't understand um how important a flow rate is to um on any pond on any pond at all so but yeah they're coming on really well so but that's pretty much about it now so i will do another video probably when i go down to the airport to pick the koi up um, so you'll see that um, there's a video, I think just posting tonight, I think, but that'll be last night. So trying to keep up with all these things on the YouTube thing, but it has been incredible. Thank you very much for your support. Um, so yeah, so hopefully there's going to be some great content coming up in the next few weeks. Definitely. I mean, I've got the customer down in Warrington. He's done some time lapse of the pond build, so he's going to let me have that. Um, he set up a GoPro and just put it up on top of the balcony over the pond and that's done really well So yeah, so hopefully next week we'll get some more pond videos up and the week after we should have some fish videos up Once they've been once they've settled into the the ponds after they've come in from Japan So but yeah, but a massive thanks to the breeders in Japan a massive thanks to Shinsuro Koi Farm And a massive thanks to my shipper Kensuke who's done an absolute Fabulous job for me. He's looked after us fantastically. So big massive thanks so all right thanks guys and please subscribe um we're getting close now we're i think we should be over eight thousand when this video posts um once we get to ten thousand there's going to be a big giveaway which is probably going to be a nexus 320 so but i'm just trying to work out something for other people that are not in the uk as well so it's just a bit um so anyway yeah so we'll get that sorted and um, hope you're enjoying the content and we'll speak soon